Hola Bafesu, the name is Bio Bio and welcome to our home. This is Liqua Bros. Home brewing made simple. Yeah? Alright, unfortunately, my partner in crime has got an injury, uh, so I'm gonna be alone on camera for this one, and yeah, hopefully it's gonna get better soon for the whole processes you'll be seeing him. So let's do a quick recap of what we're doing today. We've got our apples, if you remember this, we bought them a couple of days ago, cleaned them, froze them, now they've been slowly thawing. If that's the word, don't know how to pronounce it. English is not the matter of my tongue. So basically, after freezing them and defrosting, this is what we want them to do, right? Extract the juice from them. We're gonna mash, grate, and strain these guys. In addition to that, we've got some brown sugar to increase our potential ABV level. And we're gonna use Nkuns Malanga. The strong stuff, Brewers East, shout out to Anchor, making things easy for us. And if you still remember, this is what you guys basically need. Fermenting bucket, he's the most important guy, hydrometer. You use this guy to calculate the level of the sugar so that you can have a, you know, an approximation, a, sort of a calculation of where your potential alcohol is going to be. This is an airlock he goes here so what he is for is that carbon dioxide that's produced during fermentation goes out of this guy and he keeps everything else from coming back down right so invest in him invest in him invest in one of these guys now this is the whole setup for our home brewing and we're gonna get started it's time to get our hands really really dirty with the mashing and the juicing of this now because we don't have a machine that's called a juicer or a juice presser we gonna go old school take them put them in there and we are going to use some of this guy right here to mesh these guys right here so we are just going to use some manpower to get mesh and mesh and mesh and mesh and mesh so as you can see some of these guys are still frozen no biggie they're gonna defrost while we're busy doing this and we're gonna let it come into liquid form then after that we're gonna spray them uh, first step we're done as you can see our apple is completely unfrozen and mashed and it already looks like a thick smoothie and this is not what we want we want the liquid juice right so what's gonna happen is we're gonna take some of this put it on this cloth here and our cloth was in our sanitizing liquid so as you can already hear, what we want is that. That is your apple juice. So all you have to do is put enough here and then twist your cloth. And as you twist, you're going to release all that nice, nice juice in there. One tip that we received and we're gonna share with you is that if you like the juice of the fruit that you're making chances are you're gonna love the finished product right so let's have a taste mm. really sweet yeah this tastes like there's been sugar added to it but there's not been so I, i'm liking this it's really apple and you can tell that it's red apple because it's not as acidic as the green ones. We have our apple juice. We mixed it with some hot water just to get things going a little bit there. Now we're gonna add some sugar. Last time my guy made this recipe, he used about what, close to two, 
to 3 kgs and we hit about 13% alcohol. So we want to bring it down a little bit to somewhere around 6, 7, 8. So we're going to try it firstly with about 1 kg sugar. If you don't have one of this, invest in them, right? As you can see, it gives you measuring levels for different stuff, uh, sugar, grains, and liquids. Now we're gonna do one kg. So that's the first 500 ml. It's gonna go in. All right. That's our first 500 ml. That's our one kg sugar. Now, what's gonna happen is we're gonna let this guy sit for a little bit so he can come down to room temperature somewhere around 28 degrees Celsius, right? Once that is done, we're gonna take a reading of the gravity with this guy right here. So what we are aiming for it's somewhere around one zero, let's say one zero five zero or one zero six zero. So that should give us somewhere around seven to eight alcohol potential, right? So once that is done, come temperature, we're gonna start reading our sugar level and make sure that you read it while it's at room temperature because this thing right here, it's heat sensitive. If your alcohol brew, or your what is too high in temperature and you try to take an alcohol reading chances are you're not gonna get an accurate reading so room temperature take a reading if you're not happy with the potential alcohol level because of the gravity reading there we're gonna add some more sugar once that is done we're gonna pitch our yeast that's what's called adding yeast to your brew it's called pitching the yeast so we're gonna pitch our yeast and today, our yeast still comes from Enka, Nkunz Malang, the strong stuff. Shout out to them. So now, this is where we're going to end it for today, guys. Remember, from temperature, take a gravity reading. If you're not satisfied, add some more sugar to get it to the potential alcohol percentage that you want, right? Remember, follow the steps and always sanitize, sanitize, sanitize so that you can have an antibiotic material environment in your brew and nothing gets burnt. Now join us again next time when we do the second stuff which is the raking and the tasting and all those stuff. Yeah? Thank you. Cheers!